Welcome to the Extreme Network's introductory video of the Network Automation and Workflow series, Exploring the World of Network Automation. In this video, the Workflows component of Extreme Cloud IQ is explored as a development environment allowing network administrators the ability to easily create tools that can automate many of the manual and repetitive tasks that consume so much of an administrator's time. So why use workflows for your network automation environment? The first reason to use workflows for your network automation needs is because of the modern graphical development environment. The workflows tab is the creation environment where what is called activities or little pieces of microcode are dragged from the palette and onto the workflows canvas and then linked together to form simple tools that can perform complex network automation tasks. These workflow activities consist of Python scripts, CLI commands, Linux shell commands, HTTP queries, and email alerts with no limits on how they can be customized and linked together. And again, as this is a graphical environment, the created workflows are easily presented to coworkers and management to explain the newly automated task in a visual step-by-step -step manner. For example, without even examining the details embedded within the activities of this workflow, it is obvious that both XOS and VSP series switches are examined with the intent of looking for port error conditions. The results from these switches are processed, and if any port errors are found, those details are sent via email to the network administrators. Another reason to use workflows as your primary network automation environment is because of the ability to access existing Extreme Networks application programming interfaces, more commonly referred to as APIs. Built into the Extreme Cloud IQ site engine is an API that is referred to as a northbound interface, or MBI for short. As the site engine is fully monitoring and managing your network, the MBI provides full access to the current state of the network, the infrastructure devices, and the end users that are populating the network. This is a massively valuable source of information as the northbound interface is fully integrated into the workflows environment. In this example workflow, MBI queries are issued within Python code to extract the details of all end users that have connected to the network during the current working day. Much like the northbound API, the Extreme Cloud API is also accessible from the workflows environment. In this example, the XIQ API is queried for presence information regarding which users were in the vicinity of a particular wireless access point during a specific window of time. And it's not just Extreme Networks APIs that are callable from the workflows environment. Third-party APIs for locally or cloud-provided services can easily be integrated into a workflow via the Python script activity. For example, in this workflow, an XIQ site engine alarm detecting a network issue can trigger a workflow that processes the alarm and automatically opens a ticket with the cloud-based ServiceNow ticketing system. This type of automation can repeatedly save small chunks of time where previously the network administrator would have had to manually open the new ticket. But remember, the workflows environment is not just limited to third-party ticketing system APIs. Any callable API from a Python script is a potential integration point. Want to pull information from your IP address management or IPAM server? Or maybe tap into the REST API on your info block system? Not a problem at all for workflows. The last key item provided by the workflows environment is the ability to easily reuse activities created in one workflow as part of another. By leveraging and reusing commonly needed activities, the development time to create a new workflow is often greatly reduced. As in this example workflow, 
the query device list activity extracts a list of all devices modeled by XIQ site engine and returns critical fields such as device name and the management IP address for each of these devices. As can be expected, many workflows may need to start with this exact collection of device information. Simply copy the contents of this activity from the existing workflow and paste it into the new workflow being developed. And just like that, code reuse complete. So, as we close out this introductory session on the workflows component of Extreme Cloud IQ, we would like to share a web link to Extreme's GitHub site. By following the path to Extreme scripting, there's a workflows folder containing many fully functioning workflows that can be downloaded and imported. Experimenting with existing workflows is a great way to explore the world of network automation. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.